Hey, what's going on guys? I'm here to uh, discuss something. Possibly making a small investment for the fleet sizes of five trucks or more. Have you ever found yourself needing decals and you're up against the wall and they're back ordered and you're trying to get a guy to start? Well, here's something that we did that might work for you. We actually purchased this bad boy right here, the Roland GS24. Um, I don't know, maybe about a 2G investment with, with all in, but they have all kinds of prices, whatever fits your business needs. But let me tell you, it's a lifesaver. It's paid for itself already. Um, I would suggest that you do order a lot of the uh, vinyl ahead of time because you're going to make some mistakes. Uh, it's not too difficult to learn. YouTube was a great, uh, great teacher. Probably the hardest part about it all was setting it up the program on the computer. Again, Mike did it. He's not an IT guy, but if he got through it, I'm sure anybody could do it. I mean, uh, maybe get your kid to do it. Just careful, child labor law. So make sure you own the kid, make sure he's yours. All right, uh, so let's see this bad boy in action. All right, guys, so you saw the printing part. It's actually the cutter. And uh, after you get done through that, now comes the art and crafts. So you have, you're gonna need one of these bad boys. It's uh, very similar like when you go to the dentist. So I don't know, maybe maybe Mike stole this from his dentist or something. But anyway, get yourself one of these. And um, then you're gonna carefully start peeling. Doesn't look much like for right now, but what's gonna happen is eventually it's gonna look very similar to this here, all right? So once you get to this type of the process, what you're going to have to do is get the transfer tape. Transfer tape's important. You're going to want to bring it on over. Make sure you got some smooth edges, no bubbles, because that's going to be very important when we go to, uh, to press it onto the truck itself. All right, try to avoid stuff like that. What you do? Get yourself this little pizza cutter. Pretty much ready for the next step. So why don't you come with me outside and let's go get it on the truck. Okay, so one of the things you want to do, the whatever vinyl you selected, make sure the color um, is appropriate to the truck. In this case, it's white. That's why we chose blue. You want to clean out that surface that you're going to be adhesing the, the, the decals to. It's important it's clean because if you got some oil on there, it won't stick as well. Okay, so that's step one. Let's go on over to the other side for step two. You want to use this applicator. It's a secret sauce, Rapid Tack. It works wonders. What you want to do is a wet install because that allows you to uh, to move the decal around a little bit, high, low, whatever the case may be. You wanna make sure it's straight. Remember, cause you gotta squeeze in the actual sign. We're gonna do the actual DOT and the VIN number below. So you wanna leave enough room. Once you come to a decision that it's about straight, then you're gonna go ahead and squeegee out the, uh, the excessive uh, secret sauce. Now you let that dry and you this peel is the it money off. shot. Basically, you want to make sure when you're peeling, nice and gentle, you don't want to pull the vinyl off of the uh, actual truck. But it's that easy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys. So I hope that helped out for those who are looking for information on possibly how to do that on your own. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Keeps us motivated, keeps the videos coming. And now for the best part, somebody actually trusted me with their keys. Make sure you guys drive safe out there. Keep on trucking.